Okay, everyone, we are live. Welcome to my fourth free plant-based cooking class. My name is Cheryl from veganercooking.com and uh, I am uh, really, really excited to cook with you all today. So welcome, welcome, thanks for being here. Hello, Ricky, hello, Shiv, and hi, Mom. You guys are the first ones here. So welcome, how's everyone doing today? I hope uh, everyone is having a good day. I know that uh, times are pretty crazy in the world right now and uh, that's why today's theme is spread hummus, not hate. There's too much hate going on in the world today. So um, I'm hoping that we can spread a little love and spread a little hummus instead of hate and that we can um, spread that positivity and pay it forward. So that's today's cooking class theme. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys love hummus, right? Who here loves hummus? If you love hummus, let me know in the chat. You, you set an alarm just so you wouldn't miss my class. Aw, thanks Shiv, that's awesome, that's awesome. Hi Christian, welcome. All right guys, so I'm gonna do things a little bit differently moving forward. Um, I've been taking all your feedback from my previous classes and some of you have said that, um, that, that they're a little long, so we're just gonna do one recipe per class moving forward. So we're gonna try to keep this short and sweet. We're gonna jump right into the cooking. So I'm gonna let you know what the ingredients are that you need today. Um, to make the hummus, you're just gonna need one can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. All right, guys, so uh, try to choose a can that says no salts added and BPA free. And you're gonna need some sesame seeds or tahini sauce. You're going to need some um, Spanish paprika. You're going to need, which is optional actually, some olive oil. And I also love garlic roasted, uh, gar uh, garlic infused olive oil. And you're gonna need some pine nuts for garnish or whatever kinds of garnishes you like. And you're gonna need some fresh lemon juice and, um, and some water. And I think that's about it. And if you guys are cooking along with me today, you can go to veganercooking.com. I posted all of the recipe details right there on the site. This way, um, this way you guys can cook along with me and, uh, and make sure you have all the ingredients, all right? So you guys ready for some hummus? Ricky's ready for some hummus. What up, DJ De Niro? What up, Black Nostro? Hey, guys. All right, guys. So like I said, we're gonna jump right into it. Spread hummus, not hate. Are you guys ready to get cooking? Let's get cooking. All right, I'm gonna be cooking today in my Robot Chef right here. This is my TM6, my Thermomix. I love this thing. He cooks everything for me, so he's kind of like this all-in-one appliance. It's actually his hummus recipe, but I tweaked it a little bit to make it my own. Um, so if you don't have my Robot Chef over here, you can make this in any blender. Any blender will work, okay? My earrings keep on getting caught to my apron, so excuse me, I'm gonna take them out real quick. All right, so yes, now I can flip my hair away and not have to worry about getting caught on anything. All right, guys, okay. So do you have your blender ready? Are you ready to get cooking, guys? Mm, you're probably gonna need a decent blender for this. So not just any blender, but a blender that works pretty well because there's not too much liquid in this hummus. This is a very thick, creamy consistency, right? And this recipe is so easy to make, guys. Hi, Tiffany, hi, Wesh, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. This recipe is so easy, it's so creamy, it's so delicious, it's so healthy. And if you compare it to store-bought store hummus, it's, um, you know, it doesn't have any preservatives or any added, you know, weird things in it. So that's why it's, it's a really good idea to make your hummus homemade because, um, because it's so easy and why not if you can, right? Why not choose the healthier version um, if, it's, if it's that easy to make on your own, right guys? Hi, Cooking with Joanna Zurich. Hi, D. Scotts. What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Spread Hummus, Not Hate. That's the theme of today's cooking class. And uh, if you're just tuning in, the ingredients that you need are on beginnercooking.com if you want to cook along with me right now. But um, so you guys have your blender, you have your ingredients. Let's go. Let's get to it. I'm going to move the camera a little closer so you can see a little better. Let me know if you guys have any issues seeing anything. And uh, okay, let's get started. So I already have the recipe pre-programmed -pro pre in my robot because like I said, he um, this was his recipe. I tweaked it to make it my own. Um, he has 50,000 recipes in here. In fact, he has beet hummus, carrot hummus, like pea hummus, all these cool different hummus flavors, but we're just gonna do uh, regular hummus today. All right, guys, hi, Kathleen. What's going on, Wesh? How's everybody doing? Hi, hi, Benja, Benja Lance. did I pronounce that right? All right, guys, so here we are with the hummus recipe. I click start cooking. The 
first thing you're gonna need is your garlic cloves. So depending on how much you love garlic, you can use one clove, you can use two cloves, depending on uh, how, how, how much you love garlic and, uh, and what you have and how big your garlic pieces are. My garlic chunk is pretty big right here, so I'm just gonna stick with this one piece right here. Hi, Kevin, you're ready to make some hummus, Kevin? Awesome, I'm so glad that you're hyped, I'm so glad. All right, so you got your garlic clove or cloves, and you're gonna pop that into your blender or your robot, whatever you have, all right? And I click next, and the next thing you're gonna need is your chickpeas. So I am going to make about uh, enough hummus that fills like half of this bowl. That'll be, that's enough for one can. So one can will make about half of this size bowl's worth of hummus. If you want more hummus than that, you can double this recipe and you can do two cans. That's totally fine guys, up to you. I don't have too many people in my household, so I'm just gonna do one can of hummus, which is probably like four servings worth, all right? Okay, hi Natasha, thanks for tuning in, welcome. All right guys, so. For your chickpeas, you want to rinse and drain them. Don't just throw the whole can in there. You want to rinse and drain your chickpeas so it looks like this, okay? And uh, the other thing to think about is if you want to save the liquid that comes inside your can of chickpeas, that liquid is actually called aquafaba. Cool tip, aquafaba can be used as an, uh, an egg substitute in almost any recipe that calls for eggs. So um, save your aquafaba sauce, Google it if you wanna learn more, but it's pretty cool. Yes, you can use aquafaba sauce as an, uh, uh, an egg replacement. Okay, Shiv says, do you wash it with cold or hot water? It doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. Just uh, lukewarm water is fine. You just, you just wanna rinse those chickpeas up. All right, guys. Hey, 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 welcome, welcome. What will you bring us today with dinner? <laughs> well, today we're just doing the hummus recipe, but if you tune into last week's class, we did a, a whole Indian meal, and the week before that, we did an Italian meal, so um, definitely uh, tune into the previous weeks at veganercooking.com if you want more food and more recipes, but I'm gonna try to keep my classes short and sweet from now on, guys, because uh, I, I, they, they were running too long. I felt bad for the replay watchers that I was uh, doing so much talking and taking so long to get to the actual recipes that, um, you know, that's why I'm trying to just do one short recipe per class now, all right? So I added the chickpeas. So my robot is weighing it all for me. So I'm doing about half of, of all of the measurements that he's telling me because like I said, I just want a small serving of hummus for the purpose of today, okay? Um, all right, guys, so we added our chickpeas. Is everyone with me? Are we all on the same step right now? Okay, let's go. The next step is to add your water. So you're gonna need about 30, 35 grams of water, which is just, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of water is fine. You can eyeball, it doesn't have to be exact. All right, guys, so add your water to your blender or your robot. You can see he's weighing it for me. The weight is changing as I add the water in, which is super helpful. That's why I love him. He makes cooking so easy. Now you're gonna add your fresh lemon juice. Now, if you want to squeeze your lemons fresh, I squeeze that ahead of time to save a little bit of time. I recommend using this thing right here. This is a little uh, lemon squeezer, a little device here, which you can get on Amazon. And uh, if you just put like little slits in the sides of the lemon, it'll be easier to squeeze. You don't have to use as much like arm strength to do it. So that's another little tip. You like me so much? Oh, thank you, Wesh. I like you too. I'm glad you're here today. Hi, Jude. What's going on, Judy Robinson? How are you? I miss you. Hey, KK Dan. Hey, Al Williams. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is my fourth free plant-based cooking class. And uh, my website's beginnercooking.com where I'm trying to help people eat healthier and live kinder and learn to cook. That is my new purpose right now. Ever since the quarantine, I changed my career path. And uh, right now we are in the middle of making five minute homemade hummus, the easiest, creamiest, delicious, most ooh, amazing hummus you will ever taste, all right? So now we're gonna add our lemon juice. Here it is, okay, so here's my lemon juice. You can squeeze it yourself with this thing. But if you are going to buy, you know, like um, a, a le lemon juice that's, that's, in a, that's in a jar, you can, but there's gonna be like some preservatives and some added stuff in that, so I prefer fresh. All right, guys, here we go, adding the lemon juice. Gonna need about 15, 20 grams of lemon juice, but again, just, just you know, um, I'd say about the juice from one lemon is enough. Again, you don't have to go crazy with measurements, don't worry, guys, all right? So after we add the lemon juice, it's 
my robot is saying to add 40 grams of toasted sesame seeds. So you can buy toasted sesame seeds on Amazon, no problem, but you could also just use some tahini. If you don't have sesame seeds, you can just use some tahini sauce. Whichever you prefer, they both work great. You can, you can alternate the hummus and make it different ways. Um, try it with the tahini one day and with the toasted sesame seeds another day. It's awesome both ways, guys, all right? So for, for the purpose of today, I'm going to use the tahini sauce. For those of you just tuning in, this is Spread Hummus Not Hate Day, where I'm teaching everyone how to make five-minute homemade hummus. This is my free weekly plant-based cooking class. You can join me every week where we make something new and delicious. All right, what's going on? Hello, KK Dan and Rick Quello. Answer me in the special. I want to ask you about dishes. Um, yeah, you know, we'll do a Q&A at the end where I'm happy to talk to you and when we finish cooking this recipe, this little recipe will be really quick. We can do a Q&A, we can talk about all about plant-based lifestyle, recipes, ideas, tips, whatever you guys want to know. I am here for you, okay? All right, so we're gonna add a couple scoops of tahini. So my robot is saying 40 grams, so I'm gonna do about half that since I'm doing half the recipe size. So we're gonna do about 20 grams of tahini. You can see about how much that is. And that is fine right there, okay? So we got the tahini and I click next. And he says to add salt, but you know, you guys who know me, I don't add salt to my recipes because my these dishes taste so good. You don't need to add salt, guys. We all have too much salt in our lives. So skip it whenever you can. And this is a recipe that you can definitely skip the salt because it doesn't need it. it tastes amazing without it, all right? Okay, yes, tahini is good for people with nut allergies. Yes, Kevin, okay. You're, you're from Indian cuisine, couple of feelings. Awesome, did you see my, my class last week, A Taste of India? Simply Ranji, hi, welcome. Hi, Max Giuli. What's going on, guys? Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm, so I'm gonna skip the salt, and now we're gonna add our olive oil. We're gonna put about 35 grams of olive olive oil. You can watch about how much that is. Again, eyeballing it is fine. You just need a decent amount of olive oil to make it nice and a creamy consistency. So again, about 35 grams. You can see around how much that is, but luckily my robot here is weighing that for me because he's so amazing. It makes my life so easy. Okay, so we just added the olive oil, and I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. So this is where we're at, okay? This is all of the ingredients are inside my robot or inside your blender, and when they're all inside, this is what it looks like, okay? I'm putting it close to each screen so you guys can see. All right, guys, this is where we're at in the recipe. If you're just tuning in, we are about to finish making our delicious five-minute homemade hummus. Once you make it homemade, you'll never buy store-bought again. I promise you that, all right? Okay. So, we're gonna put our top on the robot or your blender, and now I'm gonna click next. And for about a minute, we are going to blend our hummus. You guys ready? You guys ready to see what this looks like? Okay, so we are blending. A little bit of noise, a little bit of noise, but we're blending away. for me. I'm just sitting here hanging with you guys. Yes, mom, you guys all need a robot chef. I'm telling you, this thing is so popular. It is, uh, there's over 10 million of these around the world. It's very, very popular in other countries, fairly new to the US, but mark my words, I think it's only a matter of time before everyone has one of these robots uh, in their kitchen. Pizza, Italy. Yes, you know, I just posted a vegan pizza, Max. I just posted a vegan pizza recipe. Uh, on my Instagram, at Beginner Cooking, if you want to check it out. Uh, the recipe is also on the website, beginnercooking.com. Hi, Isabel. What's going on? Hello, how are you? Oh, this is the first time you're watching my live couple feelings. Well, welcome. I hope you're having fun. Feel free to check out last week's. It's on the website, beginnercooking.com, if you want to uh, uh, re-watch last week's episode, A Taste of India. We made, uh, we made a chickpea curry, my favorite chickpea curry recipe ever. And we also made um, a mango lassi, a vegan mango lassi drink, which was out of this world. So I think you would enjoy that. 
Okay, so are you ready to see what our homemade hummus looks like, guys? Hi, Laura. Laura made it today. Hi, sweetheart. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. Okay, so our homemade hummus. Do you guys want to see what this looks like? Are you guys ready? Are you guys done blending? Did you finish blending your homemade hummus in your blender, guys? Oops. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. You ready? Here is our hummus, done, just like that. Did you see how easy this was, guys? Do you see how easy it was to make homemade hummus in five minutes? I think that might have even been less than five minutes. If it wasn't for my talking, you probably could have made that in 30 seconds, right? Hi, Christina, what's going on? Salute them, my friends, aw. Max, KK Dan, what's up, Jennifer Lee? How are you? And we have a Ajamu. Hi guys, Mo Lewis, thanks for tuning in. Those of you guys that just tuned in, I, I moved really fast today. We jumped right into it. We made a really quick, easy recipe, five minute homemade hummus, but you know what? The best part is next. I love garnishing things and making things look beautiful because I think that if your food looks beautiful, it tastes even better. So we are going to serve this now and I'm gonna show you how to dress it up to make it even tastier. All right guys, so. Get your little bowl, the bowl that you're gonna be using for your hummus, preferably a bowl that has a top, so if you don't finish it, you can store it for later, all right? Glass bowls, always use glass instead of plastic, guys. I can't express that enough. Okay, so now we are going to add your hummus to your bowl, and then we're gonna dress it up, and I'm gonna tell you what you can eat it with. Some of the great yummy things that I like to eat my hummus with. But you know, I'm curious also, what do you guys to, like to eat your hummus with? Tell me what you normally dip in hummus. Write it in the comments, write it in the chat. What is your favorite thing to put in hummus? Do you use pita bread? Do you use crackers? If so, what brands do you use? What brands do you like to use? when you dip stuff in your hummus, your homemade hummus. This is so thick and so creamy. It smells good too. It just smells so fresh with the fresh garlic, you know? All right, I think I got almost all of it out of here. Okay, so here we have our fresh, homemade, healthy hummus recipe, which if you serve this for guests, they're gonna be like, oh my God, where'd you get this hummus? And you're gonna be like, I made it. I made it myself. And they're gonna be like, this is the best hummus I've ever tasted in my life. So one thing that I like to do, a little thing, is I save like three of my chickpeas and I don't blend them. And I like to put them right in the center, just as like a little cute little thing. So that's the first garnish, right? Put a couple little chickpeas in the center there because why not? It looks cute. The next thing I like to do is I like to take some roasted garlic infused olive oil. This is one of my favorites. You can get this on Amazon. In fact, I actually uh, uh, shared a sh an Amazon shopping list on my website, beginnercooking.com. If you click on shopping list, I have this olive oil and all of my favorite vegan products that I shop for are right there on Amazon if you guys wanna check it out, okay? So um, I like to drizzle some garlic infused olive oil on top of the, of the hummus. So that's what we are going to do next. We're gonna drizzle a little bit of the olive oil, okay? Can you guys see? There we are drizzling away. Try to drizzle it so it looks pretty, but it also just makes it taste so good when you add a little bit of olive oil on top. And if you don't have garlic infused olive oil, just drizzle some regular extra virgin olive oil on top, okay? All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to sprinkle a couple sesame seeds on top. And again, you can skip this step and you can sprinkle anything on it, but I'm just sh showing you what I like to sprinkle. So here we are sprinkling a couple fresh raw sesame seeds to make it look pretty. Yes, yeah, so pretty, so tasty. So here we are. This is what we're looking, looking like so far. Can you guys see our, our progress? how our hummus is transforming and getting cuter and cuter. 
All right, the next thing that we are going to add is a little, a little sprinkle of paprika. So you can use smoked paprika or you can use sweet paprika, whichever one you prefer is fine, okay? You love my tagline, Marie? Spread hummus, not hate? I know, thank you. You know, it's, it's, there's so much hate going on in the world right now. It's, 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 it's really sad to watch that I think we all need to focus on us spreading hummus or, or spreading love um, in, instead of all, of all the hate and violence that's going on right now. And we need to just show kindness and show compassion and just, you know, just uh, Spread love, spread love, guys, spread love. It's tough times right now all over the world, all right? Okay, so here we are about to sprinkle our um, our paprika on top, okay? You just need a tiny bit. Again, this is just for decoration, but it will add a little bit of a nice little flavor too. So we're sprinkling the paprika. And if you don't have paprika, you could sprinkle some cumin on top. Some, uh, some of the cumin spice also tastes pretty good, sprinkling that on top. So here we have now what it looks like now. Do you see, guys? It's getting prettier by the second. Because hummus alone is just like a glop of mush, right? But if you dress it up, you can make it look and, be, and feel even more desirable, especially if you're serving this for guests, right? Okay, guys, so this is where we're at now. Now, the next thing you wanna do is add um, a little bit of uh, fresh cilantro, fresh parsley, um, fresh coriander, whatever kind of like, you know, leaves you have, add a little bit of that to it as well. So I'm going to add some fresh cilantro leaves. Okay, there we go. Right? Doesn't it look even cuter? Okay, hi. Hi, Jay Felice. How are you? Okay, what else should we add? Oh, some pine nuts. I love pine nuts. You guys love pine nuts? They are worth the expensive price point, I'm telling you. All right, guys, so sprinkling pine nuts on hummus tastes so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So I'm gonna sprinkle, sprinkle quite a bit of pine nuts on my hummus. Yes, we are dressing this up and making the yummiest hummus ever. And it's so easy, guys. You can make this recipe anytime. I'm gonna save this video so you can rewatch it. And also the recipe details are on my website, beginnercooking.com, so you, got, you, can go, you can go back and make it over and over and over again whenever your heart desires. Okay, so this is where we're at. So, so far, the toppings on our hummus is the garlic-infused olive oil, the, uh, the paprika seasoning, fresh cilantro, a few extra chickpeas, some um, some pine nuts, and am I forget? Oh yes, and sesame seed seeds. So that's I'm going to show you up close in the camera. This is everything on our hummus so far. Tell me, is this not the most delicious hummus you've ever seen, guys? Tell me, tell me how much you want to just dig right into this right now. Do you want to dig right in? Mmm, it smells so good. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Yes, yes. Marisa's yummy. Yes, she's with me. Right? We're thinking the same right now. Oh, Christian wants some of this. You want a little lick lick, Christian? Okay. Nick, uh, Nick Cabrava. Max Giuli. Hi, guys. Welcome. Those of you just tuning in, this is my fourth free plant-based cooking class. My name is Cheryl Martinez from VeganerCooking.com. We just made five-minute homemade hummus. If you missed the beginning of this, you can rewind and watch it over if you want. Uh, we just finished dressing it up. The next step is what do you serve it with? So what do you guys like to eat hummus with? I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I like to eat hummus with. First and foremost, easiest thing and most common thing is... Um, slices of your favorite raw veggies, right? So I have some carrots over here that we can put in here, some fresh carrots that I uh, cut up. Um, but I also like to put uh, slices of cucumber, taste amazing with hummus, slices of, um, of um, uh, bell pepper, taste amazing with hummus. Um, what other vegetables do you guys like to dip in hummus, right? Yes. Car so we have carrots, bell peppers, cucumbers, um, celery. They all taste amazing with hummus. Okay, Marie, you love veggies? Yes, okay, so where I'm gonna take these carrots and I'm gonna stick them in here in a pretty way because I'm all about making things pretty. Okay, guys, so here we are dipping in the carrots and look at that. 
Getting prettier by the second, right? Right? Cute, super cute. Are you hungry? Do you want this? I wish I could share it with you guys. I wish this was a real cooking class and not a virtual one so I could feed you all. Broccoli, yes, broccoli is a good idea. Richard says he likes celery in his. Marie likes broccoli in hers. Okay, couple's feelings. Hope you will teach me your food. Yes, you can come back every week. I teach a new plant-based recipe every single week, guys, and I only teach the easy ones and the most delicious ones. So please come back every Sunday, same day, same time, same place, 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Let me know what part of the world you guys are tuning in from. Comments in the chats where you are located uh, in the world right now. I want to know where everyone's from. All right, guys, so we are up to the next step which is what do you serve it with? So first option is slices of your favorite raw veggies, which is a great option. And because the chickpeas have so much protein, that could be your lunch right there. This could be an easy lunch meal. Just the raw sliced veggies and the homemade hummus is actually a very nutritious, healthy, and filling lunch just in itself. Or it makes a great appetizer, or a great little you know starter dish if you have friends come over, okay? All right, so the other thing that I love serving it with, I'm excited to share with you guys today, is cauliflower pretzels. Have you guys heard of cauliflower pretzels before? Have you guys heard of these? Because if you haven't, they're amazing. And I highly recommend that you try them. This is another thing that's actually on my uh, shopping list recommendations on my website, beginnercooking.com. Just click on the shopping list tab. And uh, I have lists of all of my favorite um, Amazon uh, foods and uh, vegan foods and vegan brands and vegan ingredients and everything that I love to cook with and all of the vegan snacks that I love to buy. So um, uh, that is uh, something that you guys can check out if you haven't heard of these cauliflower pretzels. And they are by this really fun brand called From the Ground Up, which makes some um, cauliflower chips. They make cauliflower, uh, they make a lot of really cool things. Here's another one I have. These are cauliflower um, vegan cheddar crackers. This is kind these taste just like Cheez-Its, guys. You remember Cheez-Its? Vegans can't have Cheez-Its, but they can have these ones and they taste just as good and they're way healthier. All right. So from the ground up is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite vegan chip brands. I love their foods. Definitely worth checking out. You guys haven't heard of them. Uh, Marie wants to know where do I live? I live in New York City, right in Midtown Manhattan. Where you're, you're tuning in from Montreal, Quebec. Wow, that's awesome, that's awesome. What time is it there? Oh my goodness. Power to the plants, yes, yes, power to the plants, absolutely. You wanna share your Indian food with me too, couples feelings? Yes, please do, please do, as long as it's vegan. As long as it's vegan. <laughs> We got some people speaking in other languages on this chat right now. I don't know what you guys are saying. If you don't type it in English, and I do speak some Spanish. It has to be English or Spanish. Otherwise, I don't know what you guys are writing in the chats. <laughs> but, um, but, but I love that you're here communicating and making noise, you know? Okay. Max says, very good food. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I love food, and I love food that's yummy, and I don't think that vegans need to sacrifice yumminess to be vegan. You just need to, uh, you know, know what to make, right? Once you know, um, it, it, you know, you, you, can, you can enjoy all of the same deliciousness. Just choose the kinder alternative, right? It's not about going vegan. It's not about giving up the foods you love. It's about finding the healthier and kinder alternative. Like I said, if you love Cheez-Its, there's an alternative. Tell me the food that you love and I will tell you what the alternative is because we live in a time right now where there are so many plant-based alternatives for practically everything guys it's easy to try a plant-based diet right now it really really is oh it's 420 oh, okay great so we're we're um it's the same time for us awesome okay you have spicy recipes you have spicy recipes awesome okay guys so cauliflower pretzels let's add a couple in here Let's add a couple in here. And we are gonna make that look pretty. And let me show you guys, these look just like regular pretzels, but you'll see, you know, you can't tell that it's made out of cauliflower, right? You cannot tell. It may taste so good, especially dipped in homemade hummus. All right, so now we got our pretzels. 
and I'll show you what, what it looks like now. Getting better? Getting better, guys? Who is not drooling? Who is not drooling right now? You all better be drooling, and you all better make this, because you're gonna love it. The recipe is at beginnercooking.com. You can go make it anytime you want, okay? Uh, she wants to know, what do these taste like? They taste just like regular pretzels, especially, oh my God, when they dipped in the hummus, you just, it, it tastes exactly the same. Mmm, mmm, yes, oh, they're so good. I'm sorry I'm eating in front of you guys. I'm sorry I'm eating in front of you, but mm, I tried one, now I have to have more. Wow, mmm, do they have nachos and tostitas? Yes, they do, yes, they do. There are um, great vegan, um, vegan chips that taste just like um, Doritos, just like nacho Doritos and, um, and ranch Doritos. Um, um, this same brand from the ground up s sells them. And there's another brand I'm trying to think of, oh, what is it called? There's another brand that makes them too, that are really good. But like I said, they're all in my shopping list, but from the ground up makes great nacho, um, uh, vegan nacho chip alternatives. And, um, and there's other brands. Oh, hippies, hippies is the other brands that I really like that makes, um, awesome, awesome vegan chips with like nice uh, cheesy flavors. You would love to try the pretzels. Yes, from the grounds up, Whole Foods sell them. Look, look them up. From the grounds up is the name of this vegan brown that I love. Now the next thing that I like to dip in my hummus is lentil chips. Have you guys heard of lentil chips before? Let me show you the lentil chips. All right, so this brand is called Saffron Road. And there's another brand that I like that makes lentil chips called Enjoy Life. In fact, Enjoy Life also makes vegan, um, also makes vegan chocolate chips that you can use for baking and stuff. So this brand, Enjoy Life, makes great lentil chips and so does this brand, Saffron Road. All right, guys, so these are my recommendations for uh, more cool vegan brands that I love for snacking, okay? Lentil chips, I'm gonna show you what the lentil chips look like. This is the lentil chip, guys, see? Put it up close in the camera, can you see? So these lentil chips also taste really, really good with hummus. So I'm gonna stick a couple of these in our bowl because we are all about decor right now. We are dressing this up. We are dressing this up and making it look amazing. All right, what else should I add to my hummus, guys? What else do you guys want me to put in there, huh? What else? What else are we adding? Huh, guys? Uh, Richard wants to know what's the protein count on the lentil chips. Um, four grams, four grams of protein in 20 chips. Can you see that? My bowl looks delicious. Thank you, Marie. Thank you so much. I hope you guys try this. If you try this, send me pictures of what yours looks like. Send me pictures of what your hummus looks like, guys. I want to see everyone's recreations of this recipe and how you like to dress it up and what you like to sprinkle on it and what you like to serve it with and then tell me uh who you shared it with and if they loved it and then and then hopefully uh they ask you to teach them how to make homemade hummus because if you make stuff from from scratch and you make stuff at home it tastes so much better and it's so much healthier for you and you get to ditch all those added pres added preservatives so it's worth it guys all right it's worth it um, cooking at home. And then another thing that I like to add to my hummus, but we don't really have much space left in mine right now, is um, just the regular old pita chips. Pita chips or pita bread. Always an awesome, awesome, awesome thing to serve, um, to serve hummus with. Okay, guys? Marie wants to know, am I on social media platforms? Yes, um, my personal social media pages is at Cheryl.tv. And uh, my cooking and food social media pages is at Veganer Cooking. And actually, I even made my own uh, social media pages for my robot over here because he's, he's so cool. And his pages are at my robot chef if you want to see all the cool things that my robot can make. Since he cooks for me all day, every day. Love this thing. He's at my robot chef. 
my my vegan page is at vegan or cooking and my personal page is at cheryl.tv so those of you that are here because you want to eat healthier um give yourself a pat on the back because that is awesome that you were wanting to make that change in your life and those of you that are here because you want to try a plant-based diet also give yourself a pat on the back because that is is also something that's just you should be really really proud of okay now um even though my website is is all about vegan cooking and vegan food I'm actually not pushing people to go vegan. I'm just encouraging people to add more plant-based meals to their diet and to try my um, my 30 day vegan challenge. This way you can maybe see what, what the benefits are that you feel from a plant-based diet. And then who knows, then maybe you'll be inspired to stay vegan for, um, for forever, which is kind of what happened to me when I tried my 30 day vegan challenge. I did not go into it thinking, okay, I'm uh, never going to eat cheese again and blah, blah, blah. I didn't go into, I was just like, you know what? I'm having some stomach issues. I don't feel too great. I want to try a 30 day vegan challenge and just see what it does for me. Right. And then I was so impressed with all of the benefits that I, um, that I became a permanent vegan. And now I was, inspired to want to help other people try it and see how amazing they feel and all of the wonderful health benefits. So that's why I am here trying to pay that forward and share my inspiration with you guys because um, if I can help people feel as amazing as I feel, um, then, then it's totally worth it. And that's why all these classes are free, guys. That's why I keep these classes free every single week because I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely want to help people feel better, live kinder, and save animals. That's what it's all about, guys. I don't know if you guys saw the article in the New York Post um, on Friday, but they, uh, because of the coronavirus and the oversupply of food right now, they are actually um, coming up with mass extermination methods to kill the animals. And uh, they did something, this farm in Iowa did something really, really horrific with all the pigs. I posted about it on my on my social media. I, I normally don't post any sad things about animals because I like my social media to be all about positivity and all about, um, you know, just uh, uh, the, the positive benefits of a plant-based diet. And I, and I tried to shy away from sharing animal cruelty stuff because for number one, it makes me really sad and I have a really, really hard time watching it. But at the same time, I also feel like people need to know what's really going on in the animal agriculture industry. It, it's, it's, it's so bad and we all freak out when we hear about about you know all the other horrible things that are going into the world, but does anyone really also know what's going on in the world right now in the animal agriculture industry, where they are mass exterminating animals because of the because because of the, the food supply and demand issue that's going on because of the coronavirus? They are suffocating. They are suffocating pigs in mass quantity all at once, which is the most torturous, horrific way to kill an animal. It is not humane at all. And like I said, the New York Post just posted this article. You can you can hear about it. You can read you can read the article. I um I, I posted it in my story on my personal Instagram and also on my um on my um Facebook story as well. I posted this article. So yeah, it's it, it's pretty tough. But like I said, today is about spreading hummus, not hate. It's about spreading love. It's about spreading kindness. It's about spreading compassion, but it's also about spreading awareness, guys. And we all need to get the word out there about what's really going on in the animal agriculture industry because it is scary and it is wrong and it is not okay. And we all just look the other way. And why? Why is that okay for us to just look the other way? It is not okay. It is not okay. And we all need to come together and push for a change like we are trying to do with other things going on in the world right now. But we also need to stand up for the animals. There are people that need to stand up and try to help them as well. And one way that you can help is actually by eating a plant-based diet. You wanna know why? Because every day, every day that you eat vegan, you are actually saving one animal. You're saving one animal every day that you eat vegan. Did you know that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Shiv says, and sadly, animal cruelty is always going on since ages, but it's time to bring about a change and help the animals. Yes, absolutely. Um, couples feelings says, stay home, stay safe. Yes, absolutely, guys. 
stay home, stay, stay safe and cook for yourself right now. Cooking at home is more popular now than ever because cooking at home is actually um, one of the best ways that you can help protect yourself from getting the virus because if you're out and about going to restaurants and takeout, blah, 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 it's not as safe as it is cooking for yourself at home. So that's another reason why I'm trying to do these free cooking classes to not only help people get healthier and to try a plant-based diet and to save animals, but also to help protect people and stay as healthy and safe as possible during this quarantine period. Um, Marie, do I know about this 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 foundation? WWF? Yes, I actually donated to them and I did a fundraiser for them last year, not too long ago. You're you're affiliated with them. That's awesome. Oh, good for you. I'm so glad that you are doing good things for animals as well, Marie. Thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you for for helping to spread awareness and for representing such an amazing foundation. Okay. And yes, I am so passionate. Are my handles on my website? Yeah, you're, you're tuning in on Facebook Live right now. And you can actually, um, you can, um, uh, on, on my Facebook uh, profile page, there are links to all of my social media links are right there and my website links. But yeah, it, you guys, it's just veganercooking.com is the main website, veganercooking.com. It's, it's just like beginner, but with a V. And uh, on my website, there are tons of recipes that are my favorite plant-based recipes that you can go and reference and try anytime you want. So definitely check that out. And if you guys have any ideas on, um, on what are other things that you want me to cook during my plant-based cooking class, just let me know. Um, I'm happy to take suggestions and teach you guys something that, that you uh, are excited to, um, to learn about and something that, um, uh, that maybe that you don't know how to make it vegan, but but maybe I can help you come up with a vegan version. So if you have any ideas or suggestions or tips uh, for what you want me to cook in future classes, feel free to put in the comments or send me a message. Or uh, there's also a, a, a little chat area on my vegan or cooking website. So just let me know what you guys want to make. And uh, and I'm happy to uh, to review those and add those to the list for future weeks. Am I available this week to do a live on Instagram? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Marie, we, we can video chat even just the two of us anytime. I'm happy to, you know, to, le to learn more, more about you and just get to know each other and uh, uh, spread some plant-based love. But yeah, I, I actually go live. I go live. Um, uh, I'm on Instagram and Facebook right now, but predominantly I like to do these cooking classes on Facebook um, because there, there, there's uh, less limitation with time and stuff like that. But um and also I like to keep everyone together because uh, you know we're a community and I want everyone to be able to communicate with each other and meet the other people in the chats who are also trying to eat healthier and try a plant-based diet. So I'm trying to get everyone all over to one platform, which is why I've been pushing uh, Facebook um, a, a little bit a little bit harder right now. I, um, so this way we can all talk to each other in the chats and get to know each other and support each other. That's something I love about the vegan community, guys. I love how supportive we are of each other and how much we all genuinely want to help each other um, uh, and teach each other what our favorite plant-based foods and our favorite plant-based brands and our favorite plant-based meals are. We all actually want to help each other and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to see because prior to this, I worked in the entertainment industry industry and it was really cutthroat and there wasn't a lot of um a lot of uh, support and encouragement and all that it was more just competition so um it, it's it's a real nice breath of fresh air uh being a part of this beautiful vegan community right now which i love and cherish so much yes marie says we have similar likings that's awesome marie well i'm very much looking forward to meeting you sweetheart and uh yeah anyone else that wants to do um private private chats if you if you try my free 30 day vegan challenge on my website I actually am happy to give you guys personal encouragement and support throughout your entire 30 day challenge. Um, I, I have a, a, a really cool um, a mobile app where you can actually track your progress inside the app day by day. You, um, you go and, and report like, did you stay away from animal products? Yes or no? And how did you feel? And then you can go and look back and see, okay, how did I feel 10 days in? How did I feel 15 days in? How did I feel 30 days in? And, and you can kind of see your benefits and your progress and what you um, you know what you have learned and uh, and what you've benefited benefited from it like for me personally during my 30 day vegan challenge my acne cleared up my inflammation went away and um, uh, I had more energy and I also um, 
I also started um, uh, uh, my uh, my poop flowed better too. <laughs> As hard that is to admit, but yes, a plant-based diet helped me in so many ways. Oh, and my congestion. I would, my nose used to like run all the time. I used to just be blowing my nose all freaking day long. But, um, but with, with the plant-based diet, like I said, my acne went away my congestion cleared up, my inflammation, um, went away and, uh, and I had more energy and I pooped a whole lot more. And that's awesome because once, once your poop is flowing, that feels amazing. It, it's an amazing thing. Is fish... Is fish good and seafood? Oh no, <laughs> no. I mean, there's there, there, there's there's a a lot of things that that go on in in the the fish farming industry too that that isn't really so good. In fact, if you watch this film on Netflix called What the Health, it um it explains a little bit about that and why um and why it is necessary to also stay away from fish and seafood if you do want to try um a real plant based diet. So uh, uh, definitely, guys, these are the films to watch on Netflix. I'm going to tell you guys the top films to watch on Netflix that um that will help encourage, inspire, and motivate you to try and complete a plant based diet because. Um, uh, they, they really, really helped me, especially in the beginning when I made the transition. First one is called What the Health. The second one is called Cowspiracy. The third one is called Game Changers. And there's a really cool uh, Netflix series too that's called Explained. And in season two, episode eight, there's a, there's a 15 minute mini series called, um, uh, mini doc called, um, uh, the future of meats, the future of meat. And that one is really, really good as well. So those are the four things on Netflix right now that I highly recommend you go watch. In fact, if you go to my website, veganercooking.com and you click on vegan challenge, um, I have links to those uh, movies on Netflix right there on that page of my website so you can access them really quickly if you can't remember the names I just mentioned, okay? But I'll say one more time for you just in case. What the health? um cowspiracy um game changers and the future of meat which is part of the explained series okay guys those are the ones i recommend hi jacqueline hi sweetheart thanks for tuning in you just missed our our recipe we made homemade hummus if you want to see this is our result right now my robot here made it for us and it came out amazing we have our um our homemade hummus topped with uh, pine nuts, cilantro, paprika, garlic infused olive oil, sesame seeds, fresh carrot slices, cauliflower pretzels, and lentil chips. That is our combination right now. And uh, I know it came out really good, right guys? I, I'm pretty impressed with it as well. I think I gotta take a picture of this and, and, and add it to, um, uh, uh, to my social media so you guys can see what we made together today. Right, isn't it beautiful? Hi, Jay, what's going on? Okay, Marie wants to know, uh, what do you replace fish and meat with? Okay, well, um, some of my favorite uh, replacements for meat, uh, obviously everyone's heard of the Beyond Burgers and the Impossible Burgers, but also there's this brand called Field Roast, which makes awesome, awesome uh, meat alternatives, like um, they make really good sausages, they also make really good, um, they have something called, um, uh, Ruffalo wings, which are which are good, and they also have um, uh, mini vegan corn dogs, which are delicious. Like I didn't even really care for hot dogs that much before I was vegan, but these vegan hot dogs I actually like even better than uh, th than real hot dogs, which is just crazy, but also super cool. Um, so yes, yes, okay, guys. What is else is everyone saying here? Um, did you guys like the hummus? Who made the hummus with me right now? Did anyone actually cook the hummus at the same time? What does your hummus bowl look like? If you made hummus right now and you want me to like bring you in and so you can show people what your hummus looks like, I'm happy to do that, right? I can, I can, um, if people request to join, to join in on the chat, I can, I can add them, right? Aren't, isn't there a way to do that, I think? I think there's some way to do that. Um... But yes, yes, so if anyone made their hummus and wants to show everyone and you're not shy, I'm happy to actually bring you in and you can join my chat right now. Just, I think you just have to click a button that says like request to join my live, something like that. Or even, even, even if you didn't make the hummus and you just wanna chat and give a shout out or share some of your plant-based inspiration with everyone tuning in right now, I, 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 will, I will bring you in. I'm happy to bring you in guys, all right? Just don't be shy, don't be shy. If you don't have makeup 
up on his stuff, that's okay. Use a filter. Use one of the filters. Instagram and Facebook all both have great filters. Marie says you're going to make one and take a photo. Awesome, Marie. I can't wait to see what your hummus looks like. Yay. Hi, AJ Watson. Hi, Master T. Hi, Mr. Zod. All right, guys, I know we've been chatting for a little while and I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep you for too long, but if you have any other last minute questions about anything, let me know. If anyone wants to meet my robot in person, I'm actually happy to do a, a free personal demonstrations for you with my robot so you can meet him and see exactly how he works and, um, and ask me any questions that you have. You can uh, sign up for that free demo on my website, veganercooking.com, or you can, um, you can just send me a DM or a private message or just leave a comment in the chat and, uh, and, and I, I'd be happy to, um, to just uh, connect with you and we'll just figure out a time when it's good to video chat together. So like I said, guys, now is the perfect time during the quarantine where we're all at home so much. So take advantage of this opportunity to connect with people and video chat with people before everyone gets hella busy again and it'll be harder to do that. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's connect, guys. Anything you guys need, feel free to message me on my site, on social media through the comments here and I will get back to you guys um, like I said I'm here for you uh, today was spread hummus not hate so keep on spreading that love and that kindness in the world because we all need a lot more of it right now because um, there's a lot of hate going on and uh, and I hope that we can all come together and support each other and show some some more compassion so that uh, times will get better again yes hi Haley hi Haley where are you tuning in from hi Isabella another one of my Thermomix buddies is here. Thanks for watching, love. You just missed out. We just finished making our homemade hummus. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it so those of you just tuning in can see our beautiful homemade hummus. We got fresh carrot slices. We got cauliflower pretzels. We got lentil chips. And everything was made by my robot chef over here, my TM6, who I love so, so, so very much because he cooks over 50,000 recipes. They're all preloaded right inside his touch screen right here. So all I have to do is push buttons and follow the instructions and he tells me what to do. So he makes me feel like a pro chef and that's why I am here sharing all of my favorite recipes that I learned from him with you guys and I'm posting them on my website, veganercooking.com so you can go and try them anytime you like. And uh, I hope you guys tune in with me every single week. We're here doing this free class every Sunday, every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So please come back. Please come back and chat with me next week. Let me know what you guys want to make. I, um, I'm going to be sharing my favorite, fun, easy, plant-based recipes every single week here on Facebook Live. So tell your friends, invite anyone that wants to eat healthier or anyone that wants to try a plant-based diet. Um, and and let's, all, let's all support each other and share our favorite foods. And um, I'm looking forward to doing this with you guys every single week. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you like your homemade hummus. I hope you share it with your friends and um i'm gonna miss you guys until next week i'll see you soon love you bye thank you marie we'll talk soon bye guys take care